All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Reverb News right here on Tribe TV. I am your host, Asari, and I love bringing to you all the juicy gist and gossip rocking the Nollywood space. I hope you're thrilled for today's episode because I've got the headlines after the short break. <laughs> Welcome back from that short break, ladies and gentlemen. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at this actor who's talking about his grass to gray story. We also have gist on Iyabojo as she talks about marriage. And lastly, find out why Zuby Michael is being dragged by his fans on social media. All of this is on Reverb News. <laughs> And the actor is talking about his very troubling and um, difficult times as he started his acting career. He's saying that he never got roles. In fact, he was very sidelined by producers and directors for reasons that he just doesn't know. Now, it looks like the actor has found favor and grace in the hands of Ruth Kadiri, who has actually pushed him forward and keeps on giving him roles. He is um, using this medium to sing the praises of Ruth Kadiri, saying she has been a major blessing in his life and he just doesn't know where he would have been without her. Now, although his fans are saying this has to do with God giving him the grace, he's saying, no, this is all Ruth Kadiri and he loves to give credit where credit is due. Ruth Kadiri has really been a helping hand to a lot of Nollywood stars as she has been featuring them in a lot of her projects on Nollywood. And let me just add this, Ruth Kadiri is seeing major bucks from her movies on YouTube. Have you seen any of Ruth Kadiri's flicks? And of course, a lot of fans love to give her props saying her movies are full of inspirational stories and moral lessons. Ruth Kadiri, we wish you all the best and thank you for taking Chidi DK this far. <laughs> Now, Iyabo Ojo is um, trying to shut up the haters, saying marriage is not part of their plans. A lot of um, people have been asking the actress when she's actually going to tie the knot with Paulo. And of course, it is turning into a very tribal war, as Yorubas are saying an Igbo man will never get married to a Yoruba lady. Now, Iyabo Ojo is saying marriage is not part of their plans, and they're just enjoying life as it is. In case you don't know, Paulo and Iyabo Ojo are both divorcees and have children from their previous marriages. She's saying she is done, done and tasted marriage so it definitely isn't part of her future plans. Yabo Jo is a fantastic actress and of course she loves to talk about all that's going on in her life with a very public podcast. We wish her all the best and we hope the fans just keep it low with all the tribalistic wars. We wish her all the best. <laughs> One of Nollywood's very own Zuby Michael. Now of course it came as a rude shocker to everyone as we lost one of Nollywood's dearest actors, Junior Pope. Now, of course, a lot of people have been dragging Zuby Michael, saying, why hasn't he paid any condolences to one of his best buddies in Nollywood? Now, of course, a lot of people are wondering, was there a feud going on? Were they not friends anymore? Because Junior Pope and actually Zuby Michael were very close. In fact, they were brothers in Nollywood. Now, of course, Angela Okore has come out to give us a little insight onto what their relationship was really like. Now, she's saying that there was a little jealousy on Zuby Michael's part because he wanted to be number one in Nollywood. Now, this has gotten very messy because fans are calling him out saying he's a bad friend, a bad brother, and he just isn't a good person in general. Now, this isn't the first time Zuby Michael is is being called out on Nollywood for his inappropriate behavior and I'm just hoping this has nothing to do with a rift between the two. Now Zuby Michael is a fantastic actor on his own and Junior Pope was fantastic on his own and the sky is big enough for everyone to shine. Now I'm hoping Zuby Michael comes out to give this very due condolence message to his brother and his friend Junior Pope. May his soul rest in perfect peace. <laughs> All right, that's the ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in and staying tuned. It's always a pleasure. And did I tell you guys how much I love you for keeping up with the show? It's always a pleasure and thank you once again. Well, if you're just tuning in, here is a quick recap on all the amazing gist we talked about on today's show. <laughs> On today's show, we talked about actor Chidi DK, who is talking about his grass to gray story and, of course, giving props to Ruth Kadiri. We also took a look at Junior Pope and the alleged rift 
between himself and Zuby Michael. Last but not the least, we touch base with Iyaba Ojo, who's talking about her private life with her significant other, Polo. All of this was on Reverb News. <laughs> I'll see you guys same time, same place. Don't forget to keep on watching us on right here on DSTV. We are channel 195. Thank you guys for watching the show. And of course, check us out on Instagram and on X. We are at Tribes TV. See you guys there. And thank you for watching the show. Goodbye. <laughs>